The brand new device simulator feature in RapidWeaver 8 allows you to preview your site in multiple devices without ever leaving RapidWeaver. Open the device simulator by clicking on the toolbar icon. You can then choose from a predefined list of devices here or create your own custom one. You can rotate the device by clicking on this icon. If you want to open up multiple device simulator windows, you can do so like this. You can then choose a new device from the predefined list here and again rotate it. We can even scale the device down like so, so that we can see the full device. Better still, the device simulator has support for live reloading. This means whenever I make a change inside of RapidWeaver, every device simulator window will be automatically updated. Let me show you how that works. Let's go and make a change to our home page. You'll notice that the device simulator windows automatically reload in the background. And now when I scroll down, you'll see that that change has been applied to both devices. Another great feature is the ability to save the device simulator windows as a custom layout. So right now I have an iPhone X and an iPad open. If I wanted to save this as a custom layout, I'd go to the option menu here and choose the save window layout option here. I can then give it a name and click the save button. Now if I close the device simulators and reopen one window, I can go to the window layout option here and choose the layout that I just saved. And that will open up all of the device windows that we saved for that layout. And RapidWeaver even remembers the location of each device simulator window. So you'll notice that I had the iPad on the right hand side and the iPhone X on the left. It has remembered that and place them in exactly the same location. So to illustrate this further, let's go ahead and create another custom window layout. So I'm going to open up a new simulator window, and this time I'm going to choose an iPhone 8 and place it next to the iPhone X. I'm also going to open a third device simulator window, and we'll choose an iPhone SE this time. So we've got three iPhones open, let's go ahead and save this window layout. We'll call this iPhones. And we'll just go and close a couple of those. And now choose that iPhones layout from here. And you'll see RapidWeaver open up all three of those windows and remember where we had placed them. Now let's switch back to the iPhone X and iPad layout. And again, you'll see that it's remembered where the devices were. And that is the fantastic new device simulator preview in RapidWeaver 8.